Assalamu alaikum students I hope you all are doing well Today I am going to explain you the new chapter from your English book chapter number 5 that is health problems caused by mosquitoes In this chapter we are going to study about the diseases malaria dengue and chikungunya These three diseases are caused by mosquitoes they have almost similar symptoms so it's really difficult to be identified without laboratory testing so in this chapter i'm going to explain the causes signs and symptoms of all these three diseases caused by the mosquitoes so let's start the chapter the first disease that we are going to discuss is malaria malaria is a serious and sometimes fatal disease caused by a parasite that commonly infects a certain type of mosquito malaria is caused by a parasite known as plasmodium the parasite is transmitted to humans through bites of infected mosquitoes it is a life threatening disease it's typically transmitted to the bite of anopheles mosquito in fact the red blood cells within 48 to 72 hours the parasite inside the red blood cells start to multiply The parasite infects the red blood cells until they burst. After that, the newly developed plasmodium bursts the red blood cells and kill all the cells. This can lead to the severe liver infection also. So we have discussed the causes of malaria. Now it's time to discuss the signs and symptoms of malaria. The symptoms are sweating, constipation, high fever, headache. nausea vomiting muscle pain kidney dysfunction and disorientation this was all about malaria now let's come to the second disease that is dengue so dengue is basically caused by four types of dengue viruses it's a fever you can't get dengue fever from being around an infected person instead it is spread through mosquito bites the virus enters the body it attacks the white blood cells and the antibodies In short you can say that the immune system gets affected due to this then the replication process starts in the cell until the cell bursts and dies due to the death of the white blood cells leakage of other fluid from the cells can lead to the low protein fluid in the lungs and the stomach area low blood pressure etc these were all the causes now it's time to discuss the signs and symptoms of dengue the signs and symptoms are severe body pain intense headache skin rashes sometimes respiratory difficulty can also be faced by the patients excessive bleeding is also the symptom when the virus attacks the capillaries that are the smallest blood vessels in the body in some of the severe cases bleeding is also common in the nose it can lead to decreased blood pressure internal bleeding shock and death now i'm going to explain the third disease caused by the mosquito that is chikungunya this virus is also transmitted through mosquitoes it is caused by the chikungunya virus that infects the muscle cells of the body this disease is not a contagious disease here contagious means the disease that is spread from person to person through physical contact but it can be spread in a way that if the mosquito bites the infected person and then bites the other people then those people can get that disease the symptoms of chikungunya are rashes back pain joint pain vomiting fever chills headache nausea the virus basically attacks the muscles joints connective tissues and central nervous system the skin rashes are almost identical to the dengue rashes partial loss of taste is also reported by many chikungunya patients this disease is really fatal here fatal means the disease that causes death but the virus remains in the system for 5 to 7 days now there are some similarities and differences in the signs and symptoms of three diseases malaria dengue and chikungunya chikungunya and dengue are caused by the same mosquitoes they have identical symptoms and diseases joint pain is similar in both the cases but joint pain inflammation caused by chikungunya are more intense 
In malaria, the symptoms of shivering, fever, sweating occurs every two days. And these are the main symptoms of malaria. Now I'm going to explain you the prevention. There are no vaccines or medical ways to prevent these diseases. So, we have to follow some precautionary measures. Try to wear the clothes that will keep you fully covered. Use net coverings and live in hygienic surroundings. Make sure that there is no stagnant water because on that stagnant water, the mosquitoes used to live. Sure, the surroundings is clean and is not dirty. There should be no uncovered buckets, pots, cans, food items or other things. Do apply good quality mosquito repellent lotion. If you see the symptoms, do seek medical help as soon as possible. Dengue and chikungunya are spread by the Aedes mosquito which are active during the day whereas the Anopheles mosquito are active during the night. This means that we have to prevent getting bitten during the day as well as in nights. By following the preventive measure, as it is said that prevention is better than cure. If the symptoms are observed, it is necessary to seek the medical help immediately without delay. So this was all about the chapter number 5, Health Problems Caused by Mosquitoes. I hope you all have understood the today's topic well. Now what you have to do is read the chapter once and do self-study also. Thank you.